Right. So, okay, for this project, we primed the canvas in ultramarine violet and a wash of ultramarine violet and uh, raw umber, just because I like to work on, usually I like to work on um, complementary colors. So this is a yellow. Um, I've done a toned down purple for the background. They're complementary on the same, on the uh, colored wheel. So this, this is one method or technique of priming that this could be easily primed in any color you like. It could be red, it could be a brown, any color. Um, just keep in mind when you are putting a certain color there, let's say red, and you put yellow over that red or even um, you know yellow ochre over this red, it might, the yellow, the red will show it will change the yellow ochre into more of an orange, especially for the first layer. But the more layers you put, the more accurate the color will be. And you won't see the background. Um, this is just a, a um, personal preference. And I like to work from dark to light. I like my colors to be dark and rich when I start, and then I highlight. Now for this, I'm using two sets of brushes, the same flat, two flats or two brights and two rounds, uh, two different sizes. Um, just because I know from when I'm, I'm doing something like this is sometimes I go into a little, you know, little detail, little corners that I need to switch my brush. Um, so I have it ready. The colors I'm using, yellow ochre, ultramarine violet, I'm going to use a bit of the um, cadmium red light, and I have uh, raw umber ready here. I'm not sure I'm going to use it, but just in case. All right, so I'm going to first dip my brush in water. Take first thing I'm going to take is the yellow ochre and put some ultramarine violet in it. That will tone it down, make it makes it a bit darker. The the red I'm gonna introduce later on, like in certain spots, not everywhere. So I'm gonna start from top corner, and I'll show you what I mean by introducing red in a minute. So I'm gonna put this here because I don't want to. I don't want to actually. Um, put red in it right now, but I would do that. This is what I do usually when I'm painting something like that. I'm going to take a touch of red right now on my brush. Don't, don't press too hard when you're doing this. There, that's it. So I'm introducing red in different places. Okay, you can't see this. This is better. I'm gonna put my lights on. The yellow that we're using, you should be seeing more of the yellow ochre than the uh, ultramarine violet. If you see more ultra ultramarine violet, then add more yellow in there. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> I don't know. I don't need to um, really. Usually, I don't need to add uh, to it. when I'm doing this. Um, avoid the uh, leaves of the tree. If you can still see them, I'll avoid the big ones because this one here is going to be a bit more detailed. Those leaves are not going to be um, just random, done randomly. There'll be this is these in the picture that are out of focus. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to do them more like you can see them focused. So you could see those. So if you go over them and you can still see them, perfect, do that. Even with the, uh, with this. If you can do that, if you do go over it with your brush and the colored and you can still see the uh, drawing, perfect. So we will have to go all the way with this yellow to, I would say, to here. And sometimes, you know, I would get streaks of ultramarine violet, uh, Sometimes streaks of red. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's good. It doesn't. It shouldn't be all the same. You should have variation in there. It's much more interesting. It should. But the most important part is to have it. You know, to have that first layer a bit darker than it should, uh, than the, you know, the final layer, because we're going to use this darkness that we're getting for shadows. I dipped my brush in water again, because when you drip, dip your water, uh, brush in water, what you get is a um, more like a glaze, um, not heavy, which that's what we want for the first layer. So all of this area here that I'm painting right here has kind of a light, it's not dark, um, but sometimes we go into areas where you want that dark in there because there's a shadow in there and I'll show you where. Okay, I'm gonna go over this. Doesn't have to be all of it, but I know some areas in here we will see the wall. Now over here at the bottom, I take a bit of more of the ultramarine violet because down here, I know there's a shadow in there that we're gonna play with. Because of the um, ledge. Let's take, let's take a bit of red in here. Introduce the red again. There. Okay. 
So once you're done, when we're done, it will look like a mess, but that's okay. That's okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. I was watching a lot of YouTube, um, um, you know, uh, demos, different artists, different demos. And I sent you the, the uh, nice one. The, the, those two that I sent are really nice. Um, very interesting to look at. Um, <laughs> my husband was sitting with me. He would, sometimes he would, used to come and sit with me and watch. You know when they get you get to that to that point where you're not halfway through starting and the painting looks awful at that point. He looked at me and he said, if I was doing this, I would stop now. I would just <laughs> I wouldn't continue because it looks awful. I said, Yep, every painting, there's a stage where you look at it and you say, what have I done? This is awful, but you have to keep going and it will get better and better every time. So yeah, it's just, a, it's a process. But sometimes, sometimes some, some of them, as soon as you start, you put that first layer, you look at it and you say, nah, no, nah, it's not gonna happen. So, okay. I don't know why you're seeing it's showing brown. Yeah, it's yeah. not brown. It is, oh my God, I'm having so much problems with the, it is a, um, a, a, a yellow ochre mustard color that is dark with a bit of red here and there. It's not brown. Oh, yeah. hmm. All right, so we have here uh, yellow ochre, and I put a touch of cadmium red light in it. I have Naples yellow ready on this side. So now we're not going to use Naples yellow, not yet. We're just going to use uh, yellow ochre with red, and it looks more kind of an orangey uh, yellow or orangey yellow ochre. Um, we're going to start from the top. Now, because this is the second layer, I don't want to go over all of the lines, okay? Um, I, I just, now I'm, I'm going to make sure that the, these lines are, I can see them. They're not gone. I'm not, they're not disappearing. So how is if they already disappeared? <laughs> disappear i'll put them back later on if if you can if you if it's okay just go back to your uh reference and try to put them on again um especially the ones that are we're going to be using for uh, the stone carving now the leaves not so important and just maybe um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll show you in a minute when I get to this part. Now, okay, so here, if you look at the, um, if you look at your reference, the photo, you will see that you have here, we have a, a kind of a, 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 a shadow from this part right here, dark. So when I'm putting that line, the, this not line, I mean, when I'm putting this layer, I'm gonna avoid going over that shadow. I'm gonna try to, to leave this shadow dark right here. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly, exactly the same. Um, if you can just kind of, okay, switch to a smaller brush. There.
and really it, you it, don't worry about your brush stroke it doesn't have to be smooth you ha if it if it's not smooth it's better so what i'm doing is i'm just putting that brush brush stroke just put it like that and even if it's not smooth even if you see a texture or a pattern or whatever you know it's good just leave it there don't try to smooth it well, Lael, just a yes. question. So if um, later we look at it and the shadow's not dark enough, we can like deepen the shadow, right? Yes, we will. It's we will uh, glaze the shadow on. Okay. No problem. So if the shadow's not dark enough, no problem. This we will is enhance so pretty. That. Like we'll enhance that shadow later on. Okay, so let's go like that here. Yeah, it, it just gives it an interesting look. Mm -hmm. Don't go over your painting, your brush stroke too many times. Because you don't want it to be smooth. The wall is not that smooth in the reference. It's an, uh, it, it, it is an orange. I'm just gonna let you know. I mean, if you're getting orange, that's what you're supposed to get, an orange color. An earth well, color. Yeah. When you do these walls, do you always do, uh, I mean, paint in one direction? Yes, if I'm doing this kind of, because it's down. It, you know, your, your um, movement is, kind of the paint is all down. Can you see it? Can you yeah. see it here? Yeah, it's more. Now, when I, if I want to go back and put more of those um, patterns or, or texture, yeah. then I will play around with my glaze. Okay. I okay. glaze them on and I play around with that. But for now, yeah. Okay, now here. I'm going to get here and again. Try to leave a bit of that um, shadow in there. This is second layer, only second layer. Now, down here. because this is the shadow of the ledge right here. So I'm leaving that dark paint. Oh, come on, straight line, straight line, Lael. How hard is it? <laughs> okay. Okay, so now that I have this part, which is a beautiful, warm orange, color. Now I'm going to switch to the left. And you see, this is, as you see, there's nothing in there, only yellow ochre and cadmium red light. I'm going to come here. I'm going to work around the main detail, trying to, oops, here we go. Adjust the camera up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So now I don't want to lose those, um, the leaves. Now, because I have, I do have a base color. I can work now around the leaves. Before I didn't have base color. So I didn't want to, I don't, I didn't want the leaves to, I don't want to paint the leaves over the base, this color. That's why I, the first layer I did, I went over the leaves. So this and you is see. The same, the same two colors that we, we were using. Yeah. Yep. The Naples in there. Yes, know. yes. No, nothing, nothing. All I'm doing right now is I'm putting a, a, a very nice deep color for the wall. Um, the, the more colors, the more layers I put, the, the more 
the deeper the color the 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 color will look and the the, the you will have uh, um, depth in there beautiful depth now once i get to doing the leaves actually putting the color of the leaf uh, leaves in there um, i would adjust i might add remove adjust the design of the leaves at that point but for now i'm just going to go in between um, and this part i don't want it to be light the the color of the wall i don't want it to be that light um, i'd rather have a day, darker color in here Sorry, did you add Naples yellow to that? No, 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 no Naples yellow at all. Just, just cadmium. I'm sorry, just uh, yellow ochre and cadmium red light. Touch of cadmium red light. No yellow ochre, not yet. Oops. This is just for me to not to lose those leaves. I, I don't want to do them again. Um, it doesn't mean once I start painting the leaves, are, they're going to stay like that. It might change. But for now, um, I'm very optimistic about this one. That's why instead of my pad paper, I have a block. A block? A, like a wooden block. Oh, because I, I love this so much. I want to hang it oh. when I'm done. Oh, good, good. Okay. Oh, I, I see. I, yes. At least I hope it's hangable. Oh, it will be. Yeah, I'm doing mine a lot bigger too because I really like it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's about 18 by 12, maybe. Oh, nice. Oh, a really big one. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, now Take I have to longer to do the background. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's this is what I'm doing right now. Requires a bit of a light touch with your hand. Don't don't go heavy, because um, the paint is lifting a bit. So there. 
now all of a sudden you start seeing those leaves um, in between. Are you still using the orange and, um, yep. uh, sorry, the... Yeah, oh, yep. Okay. Yes, what we're going to do is we're going to layer all of these details that you see or the texture that you see, we're gonna layer it, not do it at the same time. One layer after another. The effect is so pretty though, like, yeah. Even when I'm looking on my board here, the board really so. Even though I just did it, the the board really soaks up the moisture, but it gives such a nice effect as you can see the yes the muted trans as it transfers from one color to the next. It's yes, really yes, nice. it's nice. nice. The, the usually the when you work on on wood, um, you get a beautiful texture. I'm not going to do this yet. I'll just wait until you're done with the rest of the wall. Okay, so raw umber and ultramarine, raw umber and ultramarine violet. Okay. Let's, let's just paint this part right here inside that inside deep. It gives the, you know, inside the. What's the ratio between the two colors? Uh, more more burnt umber than more than, burnt umber. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, for oh, sure. Raw umber. Is it burnt or raw? Uh, sorry, or sorry, raw sorry. Raw umber. Raw umber. Raw umber. Raw umber. Okay, let's do that. Now, some of these the the plants when we put the plant and the flowers in that pot, it will go over. Okay. And we might need to do another layer, like one more layer when it's dry. And where I'm making little boo-boos, I can correct after. Okay. I find my, my hand sometimes shakes a little bit when I'm... Uh, that's all right. That's okay. You just uh, do it one more time when it's dry and it will. you can adjust. I do that too. Yeah. I, yeah. I get... Uh, and I don't really have shaking hands, but sometimes, you know, like it's like a little bump or a little thing that just happens. I am definitely doing another layer. Okay. Lael, I watched your fire video, the one where yeah. you're doing the fire. Yes. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Good, good. You liked I it? I want to try. I want to do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's fun. You should. It's really fun. Because I, I no, did a painting. And I have another, a bit of fire and it's terrible. Yeah, another one that we should do is the, uh, uh, we did this, Christine, did we do the foggy scene uh, with the snow on uh, Wednesday night? Uh, no, no. It was Thursday night. May have been, yeah. The trees, you mean? No, no, not the tree, the foggy scene, fog and snow with the trees. Yeah, yeah, the trees. Sorry, you're right. Oh, the tree. That's a pretty one. Is it Astero? Was it Tuesday night? Yes, it was Tuesday night. Now I remember. Yeah, we should do one of those. It's really uh, yeah. interesting. Very useful. Yeah. I did two of those, Leia. Pardon? You know that foggy scene? Yeah. I did a second one and gave it to my son. All of a sudden, it's getting really dark outside. Yep. OK, mm, so yeah. this is um, cad um, cadmium red light, touch of cadmium red light in yellow ochre and ultramarine violet. So I'm just going to take a bit of more cadmium red light and put ultramarine violet in there. So it's like a darker, darker kind of an orange. And I'm just gonna come here underneath the window where the shadow is. I'm gonna put it there.
Is it like a dark orange? Yes. Dark orange, yes. Yeah, it's hard to tell uh, the color from what the uh, monitor is showing me. Yeah, it looks like a brown in, on the monitor, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah, like a it, like a burnt umber or sienna. Yes. It, so, but it, it's not too far from what I've got here. And maybe here, just darken this orange in here, this corner. I'm just adding ultramarine violet to my orange in this corner here. 